With that, uh, we will start by giving prizes to every single person that came to the Indaba this year. <laughs> So, prices for all. The idea for these prices is to give you some resources to support your research and to continue your learning. And they were provided by our amazing supporters, as always. For the first prize, I would like to call Yasinia Kubi to tell us more about it. Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here. So, we've partnered with RID Media to give a one month access to all of their platform uh, for all in the attendees and that means 200 publishers thousands of books online trainings workshops etc and this is one way to encourage you to learn throughout the year and hopefully until we meet soon yeah thank you wonderful next I would like to call on stage Teddy Lee, member of product staff, OpenAI. Hi everyone, my name is Teddy Lee. I'm a member of the OpenAI team. Um, this is my team's first time at Deep Learning in Daba, and thank you all for being here. The expertise, enthusiasm, and spirit of Yibit to me that I've experienced here has been truly inspiring. This has been definitely one of the best experiences of my life. I really want to come back to this conference. Um, to uh, help further the mission, uh, I also want to say a huge thank you to the conference organizers, and it's been a huge amount of work, amazing conference. Um, to uh, help further the mission of deep learning in DABA to strengthen ML and AI in Africa, we want to offer all conference participants one year of free ChatGPT plus access. Uh, so please keep an eye out for an email from the conference organizers. There will be a form for you to fill out to get the free 12 months of access to ChatGPT plus. And there's a deadline, September 18th, to fill that out. So uh, look out for that and please, please fill it out if you'd like to get free access. Um, we are working on other ways to provide more equitable access to our technologies. So this is hopefully one step towards that and will help you make an impact with AI in your communities. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very, thank you very much to both our sponsors for the amazing prices. Now, we have all had uh, experience the excitement and engagement and interaction around posters. Uh, earlier this week, and it is time to recognize a few of the amazing uh, works that we've been seeing. We've been seeing really a huge number of great works, so please keep in mind, this is not to, you know, selection best prices. It's a way to give recognition to the excellent work that is happening over the continent, but all the presenters have been showing amazing work, and it's really, really great to see the progress and advancement that our community is making. Uh, for that, uh, I would like to call on stage Albert, who has been ma managing the publications, has been part of the communication team as well, and he yeah, has been doing a lot of work for judging and poster uh, organization. Uh, yeah, we will start first with recognizing a local work. <laughs> uh, yeah, so please come on stage, and I would like to call um, Olivia Summons from Aya Data to give us more details about this amazing uh, opportunity. Daniel, if you're here, please. Please. 
Hi everyone, uh, my name is Olivia and I'm here with Aya Data. We're thrilled to present you with this award today. Aya Data provides data science and AI solutions from data adaptation to data acquisition to machine learning solutions. We're based right here in Accra and we're thrilled to present present this award to Daniel for a six week residency period with Aya Data with an expense include trip to an on-site location to use our sophisticated drone technologies and data acquisition services to launch a machine learning algorithm. Thank you, Daniel. Next, we would like to call on stage Lilian Wonzar. Lilian, many people have been seeing that you've been winning something or being recognized at each Intaba poster session, and this is to recognize your long-term excellence. Lilian, if you're here, please make your way to the stage. Thanks. Otherwise, we'll contact Lilian later with the details to get, to get her prize. Lilian? Okay. Let's move forward. An another round for applause for Lillian. Please. And next I'll hand to Albert to uh, start, the other start the other prizes. Sorry. All right, thank you very much. Um, now, this gets to the interesting part. <laughs> um, the next prize is a $200 cash prize to all these posters here. So if you see your name here, please come on stage. To hand the prizes, I would like to call David Akanji from DSN, please. Yes. Thank you very much for the support of this. Um, so I just want to clarify something. If you notice, this year we didn't have best poster, second best poster, or anything. It was impossible to tell, right? The posters were incredibly amazing. Um, all the judges who are here will tell you that those posters were really, really amazing. And therefore, what we want to do is recognize all the great work that happened, as many posters as possible. So yeah, we're really grateful. We had over 320 posters. That's a huge number of posters. Um, All right, uh, the next round of posters that we want to award is they're getting a virtual conference purse to... So this can be a virtual pass to a conference of your choice. Uh, so yeah, we will reach out to uh, you with details after the, after the conference. But please, if you are here, come on stage to celebrate this moment with us. Come on on stage, please. <laughs> Come on. 
come on. We need four people. Who is missing? All right, come on. Let's go to the center, please. All right, the next group of posters we want to award, um, they're getting a Kindle Paperwhite. And that's, again, another group of uh, four posters. Please come on stage. Should I call someone? And to give this prize, I would like to invite the general to the other. Um, we had three general chairs. I would like to invite Avishkar as one of the general chairs. So please come on stage real quick. Bernard, Ibrahim, Ipa, I hope I'm pronouncing your names correctly, Novel and Orelua. Come on on stage, please. Some people are still missing. Can they come? I think there are a couple of people missing. So if you see them and you know their names, please tell them to come for their prizes, okay? All right. Ah, okay, they're here. The next set of prizes, they're getting a Raspberry Pi. And these are the list of people getting the prizes. Please come on stage. Shakir, would you like to come? <laughs> um, Galal is right there, please. <laughs> if you see your name, please come on stage from this side. All right, when we're not done yet. Um, the next set of posters that we want to award, they're getting uh, Mathematics for ML signed copies of this book. Please come on stage. Next, we would call on stage these amazing people to have uh, copies of uh, scientific writing books.
Congratulations, everyone. Then we would like to invite on stage Joseph Kiran Ransi to get two volumes of the probabilistic machine learning uh, books signed by Kevin Murphy. It's still not over, we still have a few <laughs> more to hand over. So next we call Ariane, Cynthia, Evie, Maria, Mern, and Odejo, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, for uh, introductory books to deep learning and machine learning. All right, please come on stage. <laughs> If you see your name, please come on stage. Can you come to can you come to the center? We have a nice photo together, please. Okay, there. All right there. Next, we again have deep learning books uh, that are sponsored generously by Yasin. So I would like to invite you to hand them over, Yasin. And thanks go to Joshua and Aaron for signing the books also. Okay, let's give them a one round of applause, please. <laughs> okay. Next, we have, again, more general books that are offered by Gerard. So thank you for the sponsor. Please stay on stage to give the time over. Those are Please come on stage. I know some of you. I went to your posters. 
Who's missing? Come on, please. Just wait here and then we'll give the prize later. All right, one round of applause, please. <laughs> Thank you. We have a few more books to give. <sighs> Almost there. So next we call Bernadette Bonaventure for uh, Sapiens book. <laughs> also sponsored by Yasin. <laughs> And last but not least, I would call, I would like to call all these people for, you know, Ghanaian crafts that have been arranged by our amazing local team. And I would like to call Dilali to hand them over. Also, maybe Austin, if you're here, please come on stage. And anyone from the local team, Manny, Michael, please. So there are 30 of these, so I will stay a minute here. Please come forward and I'll, 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 I'll continue, I'll, I'll move forward. Sorry, yeah, we'll call Abdul Hamid, Abigail, Ahmed, Ariane, Audrey, Ashleen, Ayodil, Busayu, Shechu, Comfort, Favor, sorry if I'm not pronouncing your names right. Uh, please, please, come, come through. Come forward. Grace, Diabeng, Humphrey, Ibokun, Jabez, Joshua, Kenelwi, Luba, Malaika, Mamadou, Mercy, Mohammed, Pierret, Precious, Ransi, Rokaya, Tigwende, Tifez, sorry, <laughs> Eric, and Victor, please. Okay, uh, congratulations again. Uh, Augustine, I think you probably uh, are not in the room now, but if you are there, you can come join me. But yeah, so these are crafts made by Ghanaians. Um, I would just want to say welcome to Ghana for those who are uh, here for the first time and use this to uh, congratulate you. Uh, once again, uh, welcome to Ghana.
谢，谢谢谢谢。Okay, can we come together a little bit for a good picture? Maybe one one group of people should be. I don't have one yet. Congratulations again. So many good works to celebrate. Thank you everyone for participating in this. Uh, yeah, before we move forward to another topic, there is another exciting announcement and I would like to call Bonaventure to tell us about it. Um, hi everyone. I don't know who attended the Miller Social Show yesterday. Um, I hope you liked it. I hope it was insightful. And I just wanted to say um, we are going to share the link uh, the, I mean, with the QR code that will open um, the form for every attendee of, of Deep Learning and Daba so that they can actually have the possibility to submit their request either for internship, either for um, masters or PhDs or postdoc application at Mira. And um, to those who registered, I've been sending you emails. Um, I could, I mean, I voluntarily offer to look at some CVs or applications if you need help and requirements. So, yeah. Thank you very much for this amazing surprise. Uh, okay, so before we move on from posters, uh, as you heard, we had over 300 posters this year, and we had to work with us many volunteers to go around your posters to give you feedback. We would like really to thank them for their efforts. And I would like to make a special mention here for someone who has been mentioned many times already, to Yasin Yakobi for your outstanding work there. Yasin went through over 30 posters, spending time giving feedback. He was also a judge for the Adiaton, we'll talk next about that. And he showed, you know, dedication that really exceeds expectation. We had, for example, a French speaking team and he spent time to discuss with them, not only, but to also translate live the questions and the answers to the jury and to the attendees. And we are really thankful for your spirit of inclusion and of, you know, generosity in general. Thank you very much, Yassine. Okay, now, thank you, Albert. Uh, another exciting topic that is particularly, oh, that's, oh, yeah, the same name, sorry. That is particularly dear to my heart. Uh, it's the Ideathon. It's an adventure that we started last year, and I would, call, I would like to call on stage Shuban to, uh, to help me with this part, please. Yeah. Do you have another microphone? So the Ideathon started last year. The idea was that we got so inspired by the many uh, success stories that happened at the Indaba, like Masakani, Lilapa, and Stadip, and so many others. And we wanted to create a platform to scale this and to give space for more ideas to be expressed and more co co collaborations and relations to, to be created. Uh, last year was an amazing edition. We had many proposals, 14, I remember, if I remember correctly. Uh, we, we awarded compute credits uh, to five of them and we tried to provide mentorship 
but uh, it was challenging. So this is a call for everyone who knows platforms for long-term mentorships. We're really looking to strengthen the, this, this um, new program that we're starting. Um, and uh, yeah, so we just maybe a moment to celebrate here. One of our participants last year, Amatambu AI, has now integrated into a startup and they are making amazing progress. So, be, you know, really a round of applause for them and really support, you know, wish all the best to you guys going forward and to everyone who participated, really. Um, yeah, I really also, before we, we continue, I wanted to thank Shoban personally while she's on stage because you know, the follow-up that happened, the credits, the mentorship would, wouldn't have happened before your, without your support and help, Shoban. So thank you very much for your dedication and for being, you know, an impersonation of the Indaba values, really. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, Shoban, do you want to say a few words about the idea and the experience in general? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, I think it's... Uh, I found it really inspiring last year and this year just to see the kind of ideas in realms I never even knew existed or needed attention. So um, I really hope you, you take that inspiration and think about joining next year. And if you have applied this year, um, keep working on your ideas. It's really great to see what the, the community can come up with when it puts minds to it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, so we had another exciting year. Uh, we received 19 applications. 17 of them were offered mentorship and 11 proposed ideas in the pitching session. I mentioned earlier compute credits. Those have been awarded by the Curie program of Google. And to award the prizes of this year, I would like to call on stage the amazing Rosanne Liu to hand over the prizes. So I know all the participants are impatient for this moment. Uh, so can we have a drum roll? Ooh. And the winners of this year are these teams. We have <laughs> the AI-based malaria detection and surveillance team, the Hilter team, the Deep Signal team, and an non-intrusive fish weighing team. Please come on stage so you can receive your, your, your awards. Congratulations again, everyone. Really, the, the, the presentations that you've seen are all amazing. And again, it's a case where it's really, really hard to make a choice. But, you know, to really to be able to give the maximum support and the potential support, the optimal support to people during the year, we had really to reward a minimum number of, uh, you know, a small number of, of, of projects. But uh, again, I want to mention actually something that could be useful to everyone that participated and everyone else that had ideas. We have a mentorship platform at the Indaba. We have a set of amazing mentors. So I invite you all to sign up and we will try our best to match you with someone with an expertise that you need for, for your project. But yeah, it was amazing to see the interaction and the engagement with this and keep, keep the great ideas coming. I'm sure that we'll see many more of successes in the future. Uh, and uh, I, I am really thankful for the support of Career Program for that. And with that, I'll hand over to Rosanne to tell us more about this and about the prices. 
Yeah, I um, also want to say that it's written on their certificate, but people probably cannot see. They're getting, as winners of this Eatathon, um, 10,000 compute credits from GCP supported by Google. And that is something uh, this program does. So this program I'm serving as a comedy steer member of. It's called Cure, Compute Credits for Underrepresented Researchers. We match Google mentors with mentees from underrepresented countries, and we provide compute credits so you can run your experiments. So congratulations again, and we look forward to hear more about you in the future. So yeah, we'll follow up with the details and later on. Thank you very much, and congratulations. Before we continue, uh, we would like to thank our mentors. So, for the idea thon to happen, people propose idea, but they go, they offer we, they are offered mentorship with uh, you know amazing people. They volunteered for this. Uh, they gave amazing insights, and we thank them all for the time they dedicated to this. Really, thank you very much. But also. But also to the judges that actually, you know, gave up on an amazing party that was happening in the same time and were on time uh, for, the, for, for, for this competition and asked really insightful questions that I'm sure will be very, very useful for the teams to, uh, to carry on their, their dream. Uh, yeah, so n thank you very much, everyone. Now I would like to call Emily to talk uh, to us about the hackathons. We've been delighted this year to reinvigorate the Deep Learning and Daba hackathons in partnership with our amazing sponsors from InstaDeep, Zindi and JP Morgan Chase. So without further ado, I'd like to invite the InstaDeep InstaDeep team up to uh, award their prizes. Hello. Uh, thank you very much, Emily. Uh, thank you all who participated in the hackathon. It's been a blast. Um, first of all, I would like to uh, ask for a round of applause for the organizing team, which they have been working so hard to prepare the hackathon, to prepare the starter notebook, and to review the winning solutions until very late at night. So well done, the whole team. So let's go a bit in uh, hackathons in numbers. So we had 144 participants, which is a very big number. So thank you very much. Here I took a picture today of someone actually eating cassava. It was about cassava genomics. It was very yummy. And these were 22 African countries represented, which is a fantastic number if we compare it to previous years. So well done. Finally, the teams had only 111 hours to hack. And thanks for the mentoring sessions and support from InstaDeep. And they created in that time 681 submissions. So well done. So these submissions have been evaluated in the Zindi platform. So roll of drums, because we only have three winners to announce now. So I just want to say, wow, this is my first in Darba, and it's incredible, isn't it? So should we get straight to the winners? In third place, we have Enigma, AKA Paul Okewunmi. Please come on down. This was a really incredible submission with some extremely advanced deep learning skills on display. It involved fine tuning the nucleotide transformer for 2000 steps and then adding those embeddings to the embeddings we provided. So once again, really impressive display of deep learning expertise.
Okay, in second place, we have Lone Wolf, a.k.a. Emmanuel Ciodarko. Come on down. This was another extremely impressive submission. Come on down, Emmanuel. Okay, everybody, drum roll, please, for the first place. Come on down, Inola. So I have to say, this submission was absolutely mind-blowing. It involved creating new features using biological knowledge and adding those to the embeddings that we'd provided. It displays everything we love at Insideep: biological knowledge, machine learning expertise technical excellence. Congratulations. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Before getting to the JP Morgan, uh, I would like to say that we are opening our booth for the last hour just because we created a Google form. So anyone who is interested in uh, working in our new Kigali office, uh, is welcome to have a chat with us and fill in the form. Thank you very much, guys, and I let you with the uh, JP. Can we have a huge round of applause for Insideep and Zindi? Thank you. Okay, so. Before I invite JP Morgan Chase's team, I would like to also, we, we previously spoke about uh, GPT plus access. OpenAI have also provided access to the API and there's a form on the Slack channel, we'll send it out again, which you can request access to the API. So just so you all are aware of that. Please can we invite JP Morgan Chase's team up. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much to everyone who participated in the JP Morgan AI Research Hackathon. So we had about 43 people sign up for our hackathon in a total of 10 teams. And out of those teams, we selected seven uh, for a short list. So last night, those seven teams came and they gave presentations about their solution which was to use the combination of LLMs. And you know, thank you very much to OpenAI for providing credits for those LLMs. And actually, everyone decided to use OpenAI in their solution. Um, so a combination of LLMs with the data set that they chose to, sol to solve a financial or economic problem uh, that is facing here in Africa. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's been revealed, yes. Our runner-up uh, for this hackathon was the team Simple Finance with Daniel Candy and Ashley Karani. They will be getting $1,000. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> so we really, really liked this solution uh, that they were able to come up with. They created an SMS chat bot. Uh, which did financial planning, savings towards goals, and bookkeeping for businesses. Uh, what we liked about this was that it was a simple solution to a problem. So it addressed the needs of people who were not as tech savvy um, or, and who didn't have a smartphone, but would still want to be able to, to manage their personal finances or their business. So, so excited for you guys. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, 
All right, you got a sneak peek, but for our winner, <laughs> go to the next one. Gen Z, where are you? <laughs> so Abdul Haq Salako and I do Abu Bakari. $2,000 to you. So for the winning team, they did a really complete solution around loan el eligibility, payment strategy advisor, and they had all kinds of different sliders where you could put in the amount of your loan to determine your eligibility, put in the types of loans that you had, get repayment advice, and also chat with an advisor. So we really enjoyed the solution that they provided. If you're here, yeah, come on down. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, overall, we were deeply impressed with the creativity that everyone showed in their solution and that they were able to whip out in only 48 hours. So it's very exciting. Yes, yeah, so I must add something to it. We this is our first time having an activity here at Deep Learning in Daba. We sponsored last year, and this year we decided to go further. And it was quite a challenge getting this on board, so I'd like to thank Emily and DLI team. Also, Zindi is helping us administer the prizes. We originally intended to only give one prize, one team a prize, but looking at giving them 48 hours and the incredible solutions we had, which really was difficult to select from. So out of the seven that we had, the two winning solutions may not be the most technically advanced solutions. We had to automatically have a balance in all our judgments. We wanted to see where the need, motivation was one big deal. All of them had solutions that pretty much worked. So out of all the solutions that came, everyone did a really great job. And we feel some of them are even startups in the making if they truly kind of put some stats in them. So hopefully we, we continue this in the future with deep learning in Daba, and next year we might even probably have something big to, to offer. So watch it. Huge round of applause for JP Morgan Chase. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emily and everyone. For the amazing work, the amazing prizes has been so exciting. Thanks. Okay, so it's been almost an hour and we have been celebrating the excellent work that's happening here. That just says how amazing you all are. So just I want a round of applause to everyone here, please. And now it is time to look back on the amazing week that we've been having and for that I hand over to Avishkar. All right. So, the week sadly has come to an end, but it started last week Sunday. We arrived at the airport and saw the Deep Learning in Daba banner. I came in from the UK with a bunch of other colleagues, and I've never been to Ghana before, I've never been to West Africa before, but as soon as you land, you know you're in Africa because you just get that warmth that you don't get anywhere else. You feel the community spirit that's unique to our continent. We came, we registered, we met each other, reunited with old friends, met new ones. We had an amazing opening party out in the quadrangle. And if you think that was amazing, wait till you see the closing. <laughs> we listened to some amazing keynotes from various speakers from different companies sharing so much insights with us. We welcomed 36 different African countries to this year's Deep Learning in Daba, the biggest and most diverse one ever. 45% of our attendees identify as women. And we were able to award over 200 grants to sponsor people's travels and accommodation to attend the Indaba. We also provided accommodation for an additional 300 people over and above this number. Before we move forward, I would actually like to invite the Indaba X organizers to come on stage. 
So you have been working uh, hard to expand the reach of the Indaba, and this is a moment to recognize the amazing work that has been you know, happening all, all, all across the continent. Please, Bruno and Daba X organizers, can you come forward? What a beautiful image. Yeah. Just to say, in this year we expanded from 25 countries to 36 countries. This is due to the amazing, the amazing work of the steering committee of the Indaba X, so I want to recognize really the excellent work they've been doing to you know, uh, increase the network and bring more people in. And we'd like to invite everyone who is not in this panel yet to join the adventure. It's really fun to organize an Indaba X. Back to you, Avishkar. All right, thank you. That's what 36 different countries looks like in the flesh. So, uh, continuing with highlights of the week. We had an amazing uh, Wimmel DS panel and social uh, on Monday, I, I believe it was. I have lost track of time a little bit. Uh, an important part of the Indaba is that we dine together. And uh, it was my first time trying jollof rice. It was amazing. 
I just need to try the Nigerian one now to compare. <laughs> we had an absolutely amazing cultural evening on Thursday. And uh, who knew that our general chair, Delali, was actually a drummer? <laughs> we had an incredible idea thon, so many amazing ideas pitched and uh, involvement from mentors and judges. Uh, it's a program that continues to expand and I'm sure is gonna see much more success in future. We had an amazing, it's now become a bit of an Indaba tradition to have outdoor poster sessions, but it's really amazing. It's uh, something unique to, to us and to see the excitement, the brilliant ideas, the amazing research presentations is really, really inspiring. We had huge involvement from our sponsors this year and their booths were packed. Uh, and they really, really, they didn't just come here and hand out flyers, you know. Our sponsors really got involved and became part of the Ndaba community. So thank you very much to them. We had these, for the first time, mentorship breakfast sessions. And these, these were absolutely incredible. And thank you to everyone who was involved in organizing these. And thank you to the mentors. Uh, I've heard amazing feedback from the mentees about how valuable the advice they received were. We introduced a community platform and a community hub at this year's Indaba because we can't do this alone. We need to we strengthen African AI with the help of our other communities on the continent. We're all part of one big African AI community and it's great to see everyone represented here. We celebrated the Indaba Awards, the Kambule, Matai, and Alele Williams Awards. And we had a special surprise when we found out during the week that four members of our Indaba community were featured on Time Magazine in the top 100 AI influencers. Like what, what an incredibly proud moment this was. It was like, yes, we've made it. So, the Indaba is all about community. The Indaba is all about you. This is what the, this year's Indaba was all about. <laughs> yeah, bet to me, we can do it. <laughs> and uh, just to uh, give some acknowledgements, I'll hand back to Amal. Thank you very much. Well. It really takes an army to organize something like this. When with the time we have, it's really impossible to recognize everyone. So from here, I want to say thank you to everyone that has been involved in this adventure. Either they're here in these slides or not. So we are really, really grateful for, uh, for everyone uh, that contributed. But I would like to say special thanks first to our donors. So we, for, for the first time, we opened uh, a crowdfunding campaign this year to support more uh, travel grants for more students uh, and make the Indaba even more inclusive. And we received uh, donations from uh, 75 donors, achieving over 12,000 uh, pounds of uh, donations. We're really thankful. We are also thankful to our partners and sponsors who have been amazing throughout the experience, who have been engaging more and more with the program. And you've seen examples of what they are willing to do for the community this, uh, this uh, evening, uh, afternoon through the surprises that they provided us with. So thank you very much for your engagement. And we look forward to continue working together in the future and growing this movement. We're also thankful to our affiliated communities. It was nice to see you all here. Uh, I'm thankful for Jade, particularly, who take time from the amazing adventure that she's uh, following with the LAPA AI and other things to actually bring all people together and everyone in the team that has been uh, working with Jade. And uh, yeah, it's really amazing to see this network growing. So if you would like to join this uh, network, please send an email to communities at deeplearningindaba.com. 
And yeah, we'll uh, like to see more of you in the future years. It's really been amazing to see the, pl the community panel, to see the uh, engagement in the community booth. And you know, we are all a big community, even globally actually. We had EML represented this year. We would like to see other summer schools in the future. We all are working towards common goals and it's nice to see engagement here so we can learn together and build together a better future for everyone. Then, of course, the amazing organizing team. And I would like to call on stage all the red shirts, please. You guys have been amazing throughout the year and really want to, to take this moment to, uh, to thank you. So everyone, please come on stage. All the red shirts, please. <laughs> Thank you everyone again. I can't say how, how much I'm grateful and you know, impressed by the amount of work that you all done. I really learned from each one of you and I'm thankful for the privilege that uh, I had to work with all of you. I'm sure Avishkar and Dilali thinks the same as well. Uh, then, of course, we would like to recognize the amazing volunteers. Oh, please guys. <laughs> they have been running around. They have been solving problems at an impressive speed. Please stand up so we can recognize the amazing work that you have been doing. Wonderful. Yeah. Woohoo! Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for your kindness, for your efforts, for your, you know, good mood that, you know, infected all of us with. Thank you very much. Now, before handing over to Shakir, I would like to hand over to Dilali to give us uh, a few re closing remarks. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. What a week. This has been really a great week. So, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, back to me. So, I just want to share a few uh, remarks. 
this really has been a great week. Uh, you know, coming together, sharing ideas, sowing seeds of things that we believe can change Africa, really changing our continent, discussing issues of Africa, the spirit that we have exhibited. We just want to appreciate all of you. Uh, from the organizers, we really want to thank you. Uh, this has not been a perfect conference, but everyone is really helpful. Everyone is exhibiting good spirits and willing to do something that they have no plan for just to make the conference a success. So we just want to thank you all. We know that some conditions may not be helpful for all of you, but with the African spirit, with the Indaba spirit, you have all survived seven days in Ghana. So uh, congratulations uh, for doing that. Now, as we go back to our various places, we have a duty call. This is not the end of the mission to strengthen African AI and ML. I encourage everyone to be involved in their communities. If you don't participate in any in the please do something. We have a duty call to drive forward the mission of Indaba. So I'm just encouraging everyone in the midst of all challenges, in the midst of re limited resources, I believe that with dedication, with collaboration, and coming together, we in the back community can make a big change on the continent. So once again, thank you all for coming, and I hope to see and hear more, more activities, more solutions, more papers coming from our community. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So on this note, I invite the one and only Board of Trustees that we have among us now, Dr. Shakir Mohammed. Okay, thank you everyone. Where's this clicker? So the Board of Trustees is ultimately the body that is responsible for convening and everything that we do in the Indaba. I'm here, I come to you every year at the end of this meeting for the last 10 minutes just to give you a reflection on the progress on our mission, on the state of African machine learning and AI, and then the kind of work that we have to all do together. And of course, many of you will become future members of the Board of Trustees and take over when my time ends. So, um, we face forward. This is the, one of the most famous quotes, especially here in Accra, in Ghana, where we are. It comes from the great Kwame Nkrumah. In his speech, he said, we look neither east nor west, we face forward. And actually, that was the theme that which we began this year's Indaba. And uh, of course, then it eventually evolved into the theme that we used to do, Yebet to me, we can. And of course, as you just heard, We Face Forward is now one version of how we are going to deal with this mission to strengthen African machine learning and AI. And what that means in practice, as we've seen from the amazing slides, is that we do this in three parts through the annual Indaba, where we are this week, which is all about building communities. The second phase of how we are executing the mission is through the Indaba X, which is about creating leadership and we saw those amazing leaders and then of course there is the final one which is the Indaba Awards which is about recognizing excellence and we believe that these three of building communities creating leadership and recognizing excellence are the core components of the machinery of the ingredients that we need for all Africans to become owners and shapers of the changes coming in our society whether that's through machine learning AI or through any other kind of digital or technological advance so, of course, this is a mission that is very big. It is gargantuan. I'm especially thankful, and the entire board is thankful this year, to our three um, general chairs, to Amal, to Avishka, and Delali. You showed exceptional leadership this year, leadership that has taught us all how it is the spirit of your bed to me and the spirit of we face forward. I thank you all so deeply um, for your uh, excellent accomplishment and for that leadership. So I think now is a good time for us to think about visions of the future. 
This in Daba in particular is special because it fulfills for us all as an executive committee and the entire board um, a dream of moving the Indaba to all four corners of our continent. We have been in Southern Africa, we have been in East Africa, we have been in North Africa, we are now in West Africa, and I think that um, mission and that process of establishing ownership of the Indaba, and that is how we have done. The Indaba ultimately belongs to each and every one of you, and your leadership and your vision is what is needed to take it forward. And of course, as we've heard throughout the week, the Indaba has changed quite significantly since its very first year in September 2017 when it was simply a summer school then. But now today it is a real Indaba, of course, and Indaba means a gathering, a gathering of leaders, of people, of the community, and as I said, it is now today a platform, and we really see it as a platform for all of African AI. So we're so grateful to all of those community groups, and we will always invest in those community groups to come to Indaba, to have their annual meetings, to meet here, to build stronger, to create your new companies, to do excellent research and to really take forward um, collaboration, change and transformation. Now, <clears throat> let's just go through a little uh, walk down memory lane. This is all of us. The theme for that year, 2017, was the talking drums of Africa. We were at the University of the Witwatersrand in this year. Um, and actually, there are many people here this week who are at that meeting. Then we moved, the theme for that year was Masakane. We built together, our university partner was the University of Stellenbosch. We then moved, our theme was Saudiye to our voice. We were at Kenyatta University in Nairobi. The pandemic game came, scuppered our uh, momentum, but we eventually made it to um, Tunis to Subcom, and our theme there was Masiruna, our destiny. And of course, we now find ourselves at Yebetumi, we can hear at the University of Ghana in Accra. <laughs> I think it is important that we take a moment just to reflect and to enjoy the accomplishments that we have done, but that's not what the end. So my call for you all is, as the Indaba is going into its next phase, is to imagine what should be the answer to this question. At the Indaba's 10th anniversary, we should do what? Now, I'm going to give you some ideas here. Of course, for me as the chair of the board, what we need is a sustainable leadership and a sustainable organization. And I'm very happy to announce that starting from next week, the Indaba will transition from a nonprofit organization into a charity that demonstrates the long-term planning for its leadership and the diversity of its income going forward. <clears throat> I really believe that at the Indaba's 10th anniversary, we would really have scaled our African AI communities. All teaching and support and the basic work of bringing people into our field will happen through our amazing Indaba X communities that will grow to thousands of participants and really do the work of bringing and scaling in different ways. And that is where actually the real work of machine learning for transformative action will happen, where we apply it to our specific problems, localized needs, and for the prosperity of our communities. And I think hopefully by the 10th anniversary, we would have truly accelerated research and innovation. We'd see new community-based research groups with many significant outcomes, many more awards, many more papers, and many more new kinds of um, research questions, data sets, challenges. And I think here, especially in Ghana, where the spirit of pan-Africanism began, we would have seen new kinds of research collaborations that have not been seen before and new kinds of ventures. And of course, what I really hope is that each and every one of you who are sitting here will be thriving, you will be immensely successful, you will be on the cover of those Time magazines and many other awards, and that you will be really taking back what you know to your communities and giving back in all the ways. But of course, um, I am just a custodian, and I really want to hear your vision for what is going to come. So um, you can do already several things, so please make sure you fill out the feedback form. It is really essential to us and our thinking going forward. We hope you will perhaps join our fundraising team. The Indaba does require a great deal of funding, and your help in securing that funding will be uh, essential for our success going forward. Please get involved with organizing the Indaba. In that feedback form, you will see a field. If you want to get involved, say what you'd like to do, and we'll do our best to bring you into 
into the community of organizers and ultimately continue to be active owners and shapers of the advances of AI and machine learning in our societies. Without that ownership, commitment, and leadership from all of you, we will continue to be behind in many ways, and then there will be the increasing inequality and power distribution. Of course, continue to center the values of Ubuntu and Masakane throughout your work. So I thank you immensely. Um, I want to end every year by giving out the Umuntu Prize. The Umuntu Award and Prize is awarded by the Indaba Board for services and exceptional services to the African AI community. Over the past few years, these people have truly truly given to our communities to make sure that each of us could be sitting in this room and to be where we are. And this year we chose to give this award and please join me in giving a very loud, noisy, warm round of applause to Elizabeth Benson. <laughs> please come up Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth, you remind us that Ubuntu and love are real principles that lead to transformative change in our communities. Now, let me say why we have chosen to recognize Elizabeth in this way and to call her out so separately. For many years, starting in 2019, actually in 2018, when we first met Elizabeth, she has given every single energy she could to make sure that people could cross where the borders of our continent to come from wherever they are and to make sure that each and every one of us could make it here safely. Elizabeth is the chair of the travel committee. In this year in particular, she ensured that all of you took buses, more than 200 flights. She looks at every single flight and she has done this consistently for three years in a row. <clears throat> so, um, Elizabeth, I'd like you just maybe to share some of your own reflections and wisdom for everyone in the, in the crowd. Uh, all right. Uh, my name is Elizabeth uh, Benson. Um, uh, this is highly unexpected, so I may not really have a... Um, a good speech, but uh, I, I would like first to thank the Deep Learning Idaba Board of Trustees, um, uh, the general chairs, uh, the departmental heads, uh, the organizers, and all of us, uh, everyone recognized here. Uh, so I want first to thank um, the Board of Trustees um, for how good you've opened um, this up for people to come from different nationalities and places and to organize the conference together. Um, I, I just want to appreciate the culture of um, no protocols, the culture of uh, openness and working together um, to form this up. And um, I would also love to um, appreciate our sponsors, uh, the Deep Learning uh, Idaba uh, sponsors, uh, for making this happen to all of us so that we are able to bring um, people and students to this. Uh, so for me, is to say thank you to you. Um, as I said, uh, we all have won this as organizers and supporters of this. Uh, but I, I, I just love... Um, working so hard uh, to uh, support people and make people happy and yeah that is me and i thank you all yeah <laughs> thank you yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Elizabeth. You have always been amazing. Now, although uh, the Ubuntu Prize this year is held by Elizabeth Benson, I could not not call out a few other important people. So I'll just like to mention their names uh, in particular. So Rhoda Nana Safoa, many of you won't know her, but please give her a round of applause. She's not here in the audience. Rhoda works at the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences here in Accra 
And for all of you that received a visa from the De Ghana's Department of Immigration, she was the person who sent emails, spent hours, did emergency calls, and made sure that at the very last minute, the two hours before you were boarding your flight, you actually got the email so you could actually come. So to, uh, to Rhoda, we are very thankful. Of course, to Siobhan Hall, who took on so many, so many tasks. Um, truly, she filled every gap, and I think that was so important to us. And um, Siobhan is a significant leader of our organization, and we wanted to call her out. And then um, a very special recognition to Lesejo Machafo, Machafola, who stood up, a participant like any of you, just came on board, saw a gap in the way we were organizing the front desk and particularly the allocation of the posters and just got in there, helped put all of them together. So please, a warm uh, applause for Lesejo. Um, so again, the Ubuntu Prize is again to remind us that Ubuntu and love are real principles and that they do lead to transformative change. So, um, that's the, of course, the next in Daba is the one question you all ask me, and you all ask all of the red lanyards. I will say it is, of course, somewhere in Africa. Now, why am I not announcing it here? And I want to remind you all that the Indaba does belong to all of you. The Board of Trustees holds in custody the Indaba, but really we go back to you every year to ask where should we take the Indaba next? Where are the next places we should invest and divert attention? Where should we invest in a community and strengthen them? Where is there a political situation that we really should partner with and be involved with? Where are there excellent universities across our continent that are being ignored and that we should partner with and elevate onto the stage. So that work continues. Many of you have been spoken to already and we'll continue to consult with all of you. Of course, there are some constraints. So please keep following us. Saudi Yetu is our newsletter that goes out monthly. We love you all to sign up and follow us on any of our social media. Um, and um, so just some housekeeping. Feedback and testimonials are essential. I'm gonna, you've all been used to pulling out your phones and taking pictures of QR codes this week. There's one last QR code for all of you. You'll also get this list in an email. Africa keeps sliding down this uh, lectern. And um, with that, I thank you all. The, it has been an immense pleasure to be here. Have a wonderful party. I give it back to Amal for some closing words. <laughs> so. Get your final housekeeping notes from Amal, and then we'll have a wonderful party and speak to you all later. Thank you very much, Shakir. Well, congratulations again, Elizabeth, and everyone. You've, you are an inspiration to every one of us. Uh, yeah, well, it's time to close. <laughs> the, to close just our presence here in the CCC, in this wonderful campus of University of Ghana. Thank you again for hosting us. Thank you again for being here. It's been such an amazing week. I came late, but you know, <laughs> it's uh, even these three days with you recharge me with energy that will keep me going for another year till we wait again. So yeah, uh, just we'll have a party next that's happening in the Polo Club. Uh, so I hope to see you all there so we can celebrate more together this wonderful week. And thank you to everyone that participated again. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, buses will start li living here. Uh, the, the actual schedule is from 6.30 uh, to the uh, Polo Club. Um, please, if you are leaving to the airport from the party, <laughs> make sure we have sent forms uh, for people to fill on when they are leaving so that the team can arrange for you on how to, how to move from where we are going to the airport. So. Make sure you take all your belongings. Uh, if, you are, if you are coming back and you, you've checked in your bag, make sure you go in and take it. Please take care of your belongings and don't leave the tags behind when you are coming to the party. We will have uh, people there to make sure that everyone that gets in actually have a tag. So just a reminder. Um, other than that, looking forward to seeing you all uh, at the party. Thank you.
Bolt in the building, building.